Officials from 17 electricity utilities drawn from the Sadiq region have converged in Lusaka to discuss issues regarding power security in the region. This is with the hope of creating power trading opportunities and power infrastructure integration projects in the face of shared resources and challenges. Energy Minister Peter Kapala officiated at the 56th Executive Committee meeting of the Southern Africa Power Pool, where he stressed the benefits of a single electricity market in Africa, especially with the current electricity crisis. This endeavor will establish Africa's largest interconnected network spanning from Cape to Cairo, facilitating electricity trade, enhancing power supply security, and fostering economic growth across member countries of SAP and EAP. An Executive Committee Chairperson, Victor Mapani, who is also ZESCO Managing Director, commended the countries in the Sadiq region for their support to power integration. This will in turn result in both an increase in volumes of electricity traded among the Sadiq members and indeed enhance stability of the power system. In this difficult time that Zambia is not exempt, we've already seen the benefit of the having an interconnected power system. How we are able to flow power from one country into another and the other way around. And Zesco board chairperson has challenged countries in the region to come up with solutions to the current electricity challenges. Not looking to the east or to the west, but introspecting among ourselves. I'm looking forward to the outcomes of this executive committee meeting that will find solutions for our continent, ladies and gentlemen, not articulate our problems again. Stakeholders in the sector have weighed in on the sector's diversification mix. We need to be able to grow our energy solutions successfully. Now, some of you may be aware that actually in Zambia, we have one of the highest levels of deforestation in Africa. And as a result of that, what we have done as an uncle is to put together initiatives that will address these issues. I'm looking forward to yet to participating in a lot more green bonds on the continent. And as a bank, as APSA, we have the capability to actually lead in that sector. We've put in a request to do feasibility studies. We're looking at 100 to 200 megawatts of solar PV that we could hybrid with our plant. Further down, we also want to look at uh, converting those HF4 engines to burn an energy source that's cheaper, that's cleaner. Currently, the electricity supply industry in Sadiq region is faced with challenges such as insufficient generation capacity to meet the growing demand and lack of adequate transmission and distribution infrastructure. Ruth Chainda, ZNBC News, Lusaka.